What's going on, peoples? Um, we're running it back again. Legacy Leadership Chat. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I want to start off again by thanking all of those who are following uh, my page, um, Jarman International. Definitely appreciate your support. Um, so we're going to hop right into it today. Last week, I talked about uh, several things as far as legacy leadership. And I mentioned legacy leadership is true mentorship. Okay? And I, I talked about, I expounded on several things that true mentorship is not. And number one was uh, true mentorship is ageless, okay? Um, there's no age limit range when it comes to the principles that I'm gonna share of true mentorship. Another one was true mentorship is genderless, okay? Um, as you can see, my logo here, um, this is a, someone, this is an image of a track, a track meet, someone in track. This is a female and this is a male. She's actually passed the baton. So the image is, I wanted the image to portray the fact that it's genderless. And the last one was true mentorship is not about a title. So today I want to talk about what true mentorship looks like or what it is. Okay. So the word mentorship has been tossed around in our society for years. And I think a lot of people have a um, misunderstanding of what it really means. Um, and, and let me start by saying true mentorship, the, the idea of true mentorship and the word true also means there's false mentorship or there's wrong mentorship, which means there are true mentors. Then there are some trim, there are some mentors that probably will lead you around down the wrong path. So when you look at our inner cities today, the inner cities of America lack one thing, and that's true mentors. Um, they have wrong mentors, um, the young people on the inner city, and, and, and when I say inner cities of America, I'm not talking about a particular race. Um, inner cities have um, different minorities, and the inner city culture has invaded um, other, other uh, neighborhoods and cultures, suburbs. So um, when I'm talking about inner city, I'm talking about the young generation as a whole. So the inner cities of America lack true mentors, okay? They have mentors, but their mentor, the number one mentor in the inner cities of America is music, okay? Music is mentoring our young people. And the rap artists, um, this is what is educating them. So they're hearing this and they're following what they hear. Drug dealers, you go the wrong mentor. So there are wrong mentors and the right mentors. So I want to talk about uh, what true mentorship is. And I'm a motivational speaker. Okay, so I've traveled around the world, spoken different um, countries. Uh, I've shared my story um, in schools, churches, even in America. And, and I enjoy motivational speaking. Okay, my major in college was speech communication. So one of the things that, that's a misconception is if you're a motivational speaker, then you're a mentor. Okay, a lot of people in society think that. Motivational speaking is great. Motivational speaking is like, it's like you're inspiring someone to do something or start something. Motivational speaking is like a spark plug, okay? So when I come into a particular city and I speak, okay, I may inspire a young person to pursue that dream. I may, I may inspire an adult to start that business, okay, as a motivational speaker. Um, I motivate you to do something that you probably should have done a long time ago. Um, it stirs up your, um, your desires. That's what a motivational speaker does. But then they leave town. <laughs> um, they speak, um, they inspire you, and they leave. A mentor is someone who walks you through the process. So here's an example, or here's an analogy, okay? A motivational speaker may inspire you to get in the car and start it. A mentor will get on the passenger side, passenger side and take the journey with you. 